Welcome to the Global Capital you, Network you. Expo 2024. Okay. Our little red carpet yes. up here. <laughs> yes, I'm honored to have you as my guest here. Thank you. So tell me what it is that you are doing here. Well, I have uh, some military solutions that they actually, uh, the DOD came to me for. Mm -hmm. uh, it's wow. on the ground uh, situational awareness equipment, which doesn't rely on satellite or cell phone signals. It's right on the ground. Hmm. And there's just, a, it's also civilian. It's all about safety, stopping an accident before it happens. I've got sensors that can look out down the road before you get there, know it's there if you're just for civilian. Uh, I originally started this as a motorcycle group alert thing. And oh. now it's grown into this big deal. I just got my patent for the whole thing uh, six weeks ago. And uh, just everything has just exploded. How did uh, you come up with this? It, I started with, I was just gonna create little lights for myself mm -hmm. for like, people that rode my groups yeah. because everybody would get confused. Mm -hmm. So when they would get confused, they wouldn't know what's going on. So they would put, supposed to push a button and let somebody know that they're lost or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. And then friends started in understanding and re-listening and people I know and business acquaintances that I've met. And the next thing I know, they're coming at me like crazy. And they're saying, you need to take this somewhere. What am I supposed to do? You know, the next thing I know, family, friends, business acquaintances, people I didn't even know coming at me wanting to invest in it because it was such an impact. Right. And I've been talking to a Mr. Robert Hicks over about some software and he's got a heck of a solution for a friend of his. And that's my next step of research mm -hmm. is this uh, software. And I work with gentlemen, uh, that I consider a very close friend. And uh, he's in it, been investments, and he's been in this for so many years, working with VC capitalists and things like that. Mm -hmm. And that's Randell Young. Now he has been, without him, I wouldn't be here, mm -hmm. as far as I am. But I had to, I learned all of this. I do a lot of reading, research, and I, oh, I'm always looking for that solution. So I've got stuff for aircraft to stop collisions. I've got stuff on the ground, like cars and motorcycles. The DOT is wanting some of my solutions to be mandatory in automobiles. Oh, really? Yeah. I can wow. look ahead. If I put it on your vehicle, you can look ahead as you're driving. You have the screen that you've got, which is a GPS also. It'll pop up and literally show you the shape of something that's in the road wow. before you would ever see it. Wow. Motorcycle riders, this is a that's, big deal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that guy, I got incorporated so all that. Too, like this wildlife on the road. Anything that's in the road that could damage or hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's really the basis for everything is the catalyst. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, there's a lot of other things that just came up that it was just, it, it belonged there. Mm -hmm. And then after talking to this other gentleman and I've met him, they've got a heck of a software program or software solutions that I can incorporate in my solutions. And it's supposed to be top notch. I will be going into conference on that, um, hopefully within a week. And then we'll go through this part, and then we'll start putting it together and making it work. But the solutions that the guy's got fits me like a glove. I mean, it's, what are the odds, right? Mm -hmm. And so that was that from was meeting answer. here? Yes, right here. Uh, so he, uh, he's got, this friend of his got all these good ideas mm -hmm. and the way he's got software, he's already patented too, the software is. Uh, so his solutions are patented and I patented six mm -hmm. weeks ago. And uh, as soon as I let Randell Young know, I mean, my world hasn't stopped spinning yet, yeah. you know, so. But I love it. I so love this kind of stuff. Are you in the investment stage now? Are you looking for yes. that? Or? Yes, I'm looking for funding in multiple directions. Um, and does gentleman. something like this, let me ask you, does something like this, an event, um, like a Global Capital Networks uh -huh. event, does that help you with finding investment opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you get such a uh, exposure yeah. 
you know, because you talk to so many people. And the gentleman, uh, Robert Hicks, now he's got some solutions with Sprinty is that software, and just blew my socks off. And it's exactly my next stage was to get the software started to be written. And this gentleman walks up with this gift, and, I open, and with a ribbon on it and everything. <laughs> so uh, I've got the go-ahead with, uh, I believe, with uh, Mr. Randell Young. Mm -hmm. He likes the idea too. And there's a lot of investors here, that are, some investors here that know about it already. Mm -hmm. So now we're looking at a dual process and a dual collaboration. And according to everything I'm hearing, it's mm -hmm. perfect marriage of the two of the software and the actual results. But the military thing is very important because it can report people injured, down, mm -hmm. send that signal straight to the medical corps, and they immediately dispatch. And then they know who you are because you're wearing mm -hmm. a, the device. You, you said something earlier um, about not, I think, I can't remember exactly what it was, was going to stop you, okay. but then we got into another okay. topic, but something about it um, not being, something not being Wi-Fi or not being... Yeah, it's totally dependent just on itself, mm. and it's from and, is, and I was going to say, is that important? Absolutely, because, you know, if you don't have satellite, mm -hmm. then tanks run into each other and soldiers get lost and airplanes can get lost, you know, because satellite drives everything. Right. But with this technology that I'm working with, it's all on the ground, okay? So I relay messages all over, like a battlefield or whatever, a base of operations, and then you can address it to whoever. If they're already in the system and it's addressed to them, like the medical corps, I fall, I get hit and I fall down, they're instantly gonna get it because well, no matter where I'm at, it's gonna relay, I'm injured. And then they can literally, on the way, pull me up. They can see my blood type. They can tell if I'm needing blood or just plasma, 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 plasma. Uh, or whatever. Plus, they can look at my medical records, and they know what I'm allergic to. They know what my blood type is. So it, uh, I got it from the Department of Defense that they that uh, they called it uh, triage and route. So you can't do triage en route. You got to get to the yeah, patient. Get to the base first to get to so plus, and then on the screen, mm -hmm. when they get this, they can literally locate whoever they want, and it'll light them up, and they'll know right where he's at. So he can roll behind the tank or whatever, but that emergency signal is still going to go out because it's going to read his vital, mm -hmm. and it's going to know that he's not living very well right there. He's injured, right, right. you know. So they can triage that so when they get there, they know what, if they need blood, they get all the equipment out, you know, you never know, he may need, he may defib or something right as they're getting there, and they'll know to get that out immediately and the chances of reviving someone like that multiplies by like 100%, right. you know. Um, if they can just get to them, stop the bleeding, and if they have to, they can, you know, electrify him. <laughs> Give him a jolt, right, you know. Right. So, but I'm save not, their soldiers is, is a big deal. I'm literally blown away with uh, so many incredible products and oh, yeah. ideas that have come out of this event today. Yeah, it's absolutely. I mean, I've met so many people that uh, <laughs> I see opportunities and a lot of them even to incorporate into what I'm doing. I feel like I have just been surrounded by the smartest people on the planet. <laughs> Just inside of you well, today. You I'm just let, Maybe just rub me. off on me. <laughs> yeah, I need I need that. I just need a little bit. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, I'm having a blast. And, uh, no, I'm happy I'm for you. That here, is awesome. But, but I'm having a good time. I have mm -hmm. a lot of interest. I've been on my feet talking. Yeah, uh, I bet. Day. So there's a lot of interest in it. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, yeah. I'm also amazed at the amount of products like what you're talking about uh, there. That is to help other people. Yes. Well, everything's going that way. You know, it's humanity is really what it's about. And when you start putting humanity first before the almighty dollar, now you're doing it right. Yeah. Now, if you happen to make money doing it, hey, yeah. you know, you're doing it for the right reason. You need to make money. It's a little icing on the cake. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, but that's what it's all about. And I like working with people and I've had such, good results and everybody that's seen this has gone crazy 
And the DOD already knows about it. I've had to write white papers. That's exciting. And the Department of Transportation. Right. And I have lobbyists. Jack Berkman is a Fox News contributor. And uh, he's my lobbyist on the Hill. I have full congressional support. And uh, then there's another lobbyist I have that's up top. He deals with Raytheon, which wants me to take mm. this to space. And then uh, he also deals with Lockheed, which wants to integrate their new GPS-3 into my units. And then there's uh, the other one. Anyway, <laughs> it's just so many things going on that you're busy. You're going to be a busy guy. Well, I hope so. Yeah. And I love questions and stuff, and they've been testing me today. So and I, mean, I love the military it. aspect and everything too. That's yes. great. And I was yeah. in the service myself. And mm -hmm. A lot of my friends, you know, we all serve. Once you serve, you're always there. You're always you're always military. Well, also, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you know. it. Thank you for Appreciate coming you here. Appreciate you having me. Uh, I am very happy to have had you here today. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me all about your awesome invention. Thank you. And I will be looking out for it. Is there anything that you can tell people at this point? Like if anybody's watching as far as going, oh, I want something like that. It's probably too early for that. Well, but, you, you know, I don't know. What I'm, what I'm looking for right now. Well, I mean, um, like, is there a, a way of contacting you? But uh, I don't know if you want that on yeah, camera. I mean, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. How would Terry. somebody get hold of you? Well, I am listed on LinkedIn, and that's probably the best place to get to me right now. Terry Tedford, is that Ted, how you're... Ted, oh, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to do this that is again. It. Okay. Um, so so is there a way that people can get in touch with you? Yes, you can get me on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. Terry Tedford. I'm out of uh, Fort Worth, Texas, and we're I'm ready to go. 13 years of getting this ready. COVID is over. Now everybody needs to go back to work. Yep. And that's what I want to do. And then we got a safety, everybody, in their cars. DOT wants it, a lot of the mandatory stuff. So we, we've got a lot of good things to add to to the society, you know, to humanity at, at large. Because if we can stop the accidents before they happen, yeah. you know, that that's really a big key. Yeah, it is. So. Yeah. And I knew you were a Texan. Yeah, how did you know? I mean... <laughs> I'm an Australian, so you know, I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little well, slow. We'll forgive you for that. I was going to no, say, I need a little forgiveness for that because I'm a little slow, but I figured you were, you know, yeah. big old yeah. tax in. Yes. No. yes. I don't wear the 10 gallon hat. You don't have I don't to. I wear the boots. This, I don't this, think you have to. That's pretty much what you get. <laughs> Again, thank, thank you. you You're I welcome. Appreciate you.